Team Pat the Star here, and today I have my 2020 NBA predictions. So I will be predicting all the awards, um, the finals, the finals champion, and all in the All NBA First Team, Second Team, and Third Team. So let's get right into it. First award, we're going straight off to the MVP, which, in my opinion, I think it's going to Stephen Curry. Here's my reasoning: Stephen Curry. Loses Kevin Durant free agency. I feel like he can take over. I feel like he can win maybe averaging 32 points, six, seven assists. If he can do that, I think he can secure MVP. But he also needs to be a top three seed in the conference, which in the Western Conference is kind of hard to do. So we'll see. So on, honorable mentions for MVP would be Giannis Antetokounmpo because he's could probably be number one or two seed in the Eastern Conference. He has really good defense. He can score, and he, he's just really good. He's he's a great player. And he's probably gonna he's gonna improve. He's a young player, so he's gonna improve on what he is last season from better. And he was MVP last season. I can see him repeating. Another um, MVP candidate that could be Joel Embiid. If he can play a lot of games, like over 70, I think would be a good, great, great mark. And he he's scoring efficiently. He's playing defense. He can be a great player in the future. Maybe MVP. Great defense. His team. One or two seed again in the Eastern Conference. That's what it's all about. Next, next um, award, we're going to go with Rookie of the Year. Which, in my opinion, is going to Zion Williamson. Because Zion Williamson, he uh, watching him in the preseason, something else. My, He was scoring and everything. Now, yes, his lack of shooting isn't... I don't think he's that bad, honestly. He could be like a Ben Simmons, but without the passing. I feel like he would develop a jump shot soon, then. Right now, he's leading MVP. He's shooting... Like 70% having 20 points in preseason. I don't think he'll do that in the NBA, but if he, can, if he can do close to it, I think he can do it. Honorable mentions, we're going to have MPJ and Michael Porter Jr. Looks like a great young player. Has a year of experience where he was injured, so he's technically still a rookie. But, like, I think he could win after developing with the Nuggets, who are a good team. Now I'm going to mention we have Kobe White. He looks like a baller for the Bulls. I feel like if he can say shooting threes... I think he can make it. Rookie of the Year is Rookie of the Year case. Next award is going to be Defensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year was kind of a tough one to choose because a lot of great candidates for it, and I didn't want to have a Rudy Gobert win it, but I think he could win it again. But my choice is going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, here's my reasoning. This might be, not be popular opinion, but he... he his defense is overshadowed by how good he is on offense. And he, I think, could be one defensive player of the year. If he doesn't, if he doesn't want MVP, he might be defensive player of the year. He's great on defense. He can block. He can steal. Very good on on-ball and off-ball defense. He I just, I, I, he could do it. I, I, I don't see why not. Honorable mentions, we have Joel Embiid. He's a monster on defense. He can block. He can steal. He can switch on other players. He's a very athletic center. He can do a lot of stuff. Another... Another honorable mention is going to be Rudy Gobert because he, what can I say about him? He's won what twice in a row, I think. One time, he's a beast on um, everything. He can block shots. He can do it all. He's a great rim protector. That's why he can be a defensive player of the year. My next, my next one. I don't know if you, how people are going to like this, but my most improved player. I'm giving it. To Lonzo Ball. Now hear me out. I've been seeing him in the off on the um, off season in summer. He's been shoot he's been working on his three point shot. If he can shoot threes regularly, he's got he's really good at passing. I feel like he can easily score maybe eighteen points, ten assists, maybe nine assists, but we can see that. I I feel like he can do that. And as you can see last season he didn't do that. He was hurt most of the season. But he can still improve on that season. I think he's going to be really good. Honorable mentions, Jonathan Isaac. He's a great young player. I think he's, this is going to be a breakout season this year. But I don't think we, the player, just because of how Lonzo Ball, I think, is going to develop. Another one is going to be Bam Adebayo, which center, young center for the um, Heat. I think he's going to get a lot of minutes with Jimmy Butler. He's going to be a very great piece for the, for the Heat. And I think he can really improve maybe at 15. 10 rebounds, just, he can shoot better. I think that's what he can do. Next one, sixth man of the year. Now, so this one's a little boring award, but I'm giving it to Lou Williams. Like, come on, it's it's Lou Will. The Clippers are a great team. 
one of the best teams in the West. They could easily win the finals. Not easily, but they could win it. They got Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and a great bench. It's just it's amazing. They have amazing players. They can easily win the championship. Now, why I have Lou Will. My guy off the bench can average 18 points, and he's a bench player. He knows his role. He knows what he's doing on offense. He's a great scorer. He can score whenever, however you want him to. Great at everything. Good playmaker. That's why he's six minute of the year. Um, another honorable mention we have here. So that might be interesting, but it's going to be Kyle Kuzma. Because I think, this is what I think. LeBron's going to move to small forward, right? AD's going to play power forward. Now, where is Kyle Kuzma going to play? Is he going to play shooting guard, point guard? He's not playing center. So I just feel like he'll run off the bench a lot and score a lot. Kyle Kuzma's a great player. He might be traded, actually, though. So I don't know. But if he doesn't, he can easily be a six man of the year candidate. And another one is Spencer Dinwiddie. After Kyrie Irving joined the Nets in free agency, Spencer Dinwiddie is probably going to be on the bench. I don't see him playing shooting guard at all. Well, he might play a little bit, but I think he'll be mainly a great sixth man and on the bench. So that's why I have him there at the sixth man of the year. Great score. Great at everything. Coach of the year. The Golden Doc Rivers. I hear my reasoning. Clippers could be a 61 team in the Western Conference. Doc Rivers is a great coach already. If he coached that team to get 60 wins, maybe a championship can help too. Like, I just feel like he's a great coach and, and all. Honor I mentioned here, Mike Malone of the Nuggets. Uh, he's a good coach too. If he can lead the Nuggets to a two seed or even a one seed, that can make a great effort for him getting to the, to the coach of the year. Next thing I'm going to do is on NBA teams. So my For the first team, Stephen Curry, Harden, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Joel Embiid. These players are just great all-around players. I think they can score the ball. They can de they a lot of them have great defense. Curry can shoot a lot. He's a great player. My MVP. Harden, he can score points. He can isolate. He can do whatever. Has a great step back. He has a crazy one. They get three, but hey, we'll see. Giannis, defense. Crazy. Offense crazy. He can do everything. Kawhi Leonard, same thing, but he can he can lead to the team. He's probably gonna be in the championship. He's gonna be a great player off the championship team. Joel Embiid. So I I don't know if you call it bias, I'm a Sixers fan. So I like Joel Embiid, but I think he's a great player. If he plays seventy get plus games, he can score, he can rebound, he can dish it out a little bit. He has great defense. That's why I think he can be there over Jokic. Okay, all on base second team. We're going to have Damian Lillard. It's Dame time. We got Kyrie Irving. We got Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Nikola Jokic. We have these players here because people might think LeBron and, and Anthony Davis and the second team is a little low for them. But I think Giannis and um, Kyrie are better players over all around. So that's why I have them there. He's a, I think all these guys have a case for the first team, but I think the second team would be good for them. So the reason why we got two point guards is, honestly, shooting guards, I don't know who else to put. Donovan Mitchell I could have put there, but I don't know. So we have two point guards there. Kyrie Irving, it's Kyrie Irving, he's got moves. He's going to be on a, a worse team. South Lakes is going to be mainly him. Because Kevin Durant's going to be hurt. He's a great player. can pass, can dribble, can assist. Dan Lillard. He's crazy, dude. My guy can shoot for anywhere he wants to. However he wants to, he can shoot anywhere. He's a crazy player. Anthony Davis. Come on, it's Anthony Davis. He has defense. He can do everything. LeBron James is the king. What can I say about him? Great player. Could be an MVP. But I, I don't think he's going to be an MVP. Um, center, Jokic. He's a, he can pass. He's a great passer for a center. He's the only thing that doesn't get him to the first team in my opinion and it's his lack of defense. It's better than it used to be, but not all my first team worthy. For an all NBA third team, don't call me bias. Hear me out, hear me out. Ben Simmons, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, Luka Doncic, Doncic, and Rudy Gobert. Okay, so we have Ben Simmons. He has an upgrade three ball this season. If he can shoot the three He's gonna make the three usually. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> never mind. But if he can shoot more threes, get confident. He shoots like 
25%, that's good enough. He can facilitate the ball. He's great at passing. He's great at defense. Well, he's good defense. He can rebound the ball. He can do everything. And that's a point guard doing that. So, that's why we have him there as a point guard. You, you can disagree with me. I might be biased. Call me biased. Whatever. S next, we don't have another shooting guard. Donovan Mitchell, I think, can make it. That's about the only young player I think can make it. So, we have uh, my boy, Russell Westbrook. So, Russell Westbrook is not a great shooter, but... He can pass, he can rebound, he can dunk the ball, he can do everything. The only downfall is Harden. I don't know how they're going to... I think they're going to be good together. But they could not. They could fail. It just, You'd never know. But honestly, I think he's a great player. He can do a lot of stuff. That's why he's on my, on my third team over other guys like Victor Oladipo, Donovan Mitchell. That's why you have him there. My forward spot, Paul George. He was an MVP candidate at last season, but one, he's going to miss most of October, if not all of it. He's going to be playing with Kawhi Leonard, who's not a ball dominant, but not a great passer. So we don't know how they're going to work together. I think they'll be fine together, but like, they don't, you don't know how or like how they're going to do that or whatever. I like him. Padre is a great player, great on defense. He was a, a defensive player of the year candidate last year and MVP at the same time. That's, that's hard to do. So I have him there. Luka Doncic, after a great rookie of the year, one of the best we've ever seen in a minute, he's going to be there. I think he's going to develop really well. Chris Oscar Zingas, they're going to play really well together off each other. I think he's going to be a good player. He might be scored over, over 20 points. That's how I think about that. Center, you can say Carl Anthony Towns or Rudy Gobert. It's, it's, I don't know how to think about that. But Rudy Gobert, I just love how great he plays the defense. He can score a little bit. He can rebound the ball. I think he can play over there. But Quantity Towns, I feel like he's not going to be up in Minnesota. Minnesota, his team, hasn't had a great star. Andrew Biggins, no. Jimmy Butler didn't work out. They they butted heads. It wasn't that good. But I think Rudy Gobert should be the center. Now, my NBA champions are going to be the LA Clippers because, come on. They have Kawhi, they have Paul George, and the reason why they're better than the Lakers and the Sixers is their bench. Montres Harrell can score 15. Lou Will can set up 18 on the bench. Landry Shaman is a sharpshooter. He could be at both production. He could be the next Clay Thompson, I think. Clay Thompson is a spot-up shooter. As our point guard, Patrick Beverly, he's a crazy good defender. He can defend a lot. He's a passionate player. He can play really well. Then the center, I got... Zubach, he's a great player as well. Young player can rise, can improve on what he was last year. I think he can be a great player. I thought they can win the finals, in my opinion. And then the finals MVP will be Kawhi Leonard. It can go to Paul George as well, but Kawhi Leonard last year in the playoffs, whole he was crazy good. He beat the Sixers in seven with a crazy game-winning shot that I don't want to talk about right now. But he he led the team to the finals. And I feel like if he can do that with the Raptors, who were a good team, but he's with the Clippers now, it's just going to be amazing. I feel like they're going to win the championship. Those are my award predictions. If I might make another video of predicting the Eastern Conference standings and the West standings. I feel like that would be a fun video to make, but thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.